you want to make birria tacos like these and a beautiful consummate dipping sauce come on guys this video is going to be epic delicious we've got all of our ingredients prepped up we've got our beef we've got our chilies tomatoes onion our spices and lots and lots of garlic guys look down below you'll find the ingredients but for now let's get on the cooker and let's get cooking guys let's fire up our kadak a nice big stock pot on drop in some nice quality olive oil and then toss in your sweet white onion your garlic and I've got a good tablespoon of ginger paste and give that a fry off guys Once the onions and garlic start frying off, we're going to take all of our chilies and we've got plenty of them. We're going to drop them in there now, guys. And this is just going to start to wake them up, bring out some of them flavours, let the oils release. But I have prepped them up. I took them inside, nipped off the top and just dropped out most of the seeds, guys. So we'll get them in there and let's start warming them up and bringing them back to life. I know I say it every time guys, smell-o-vision needs to be invented. Them oils are starting to release, the onions are going translucent. It's time to take your beautiful vine tomatoes. And we're just going to fry this all off now for three to five minutes till it all starts softening and then we'll add the spices. Now everything's beginning to soften. We're going with our spices. We've got black pepper plenty of salt, some ground cumin, some oregano or oregano depending on where you're from and then we've got half a stick of cinnamon and some allspice berries and the last ingredient for a bit of tang, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. So give that another Three to five minutes guys just to put it all together i'll keep stirring and get ready for pulling time to talk about the meat while well, that just simmers away got some nice cuts of brisket i've got some nice ox cheek i've got some beautiful beef shin and i've also down in here got some beef bones with some meat on it some rib meat so all cuts that benefit from that low and slow cooking and that's going to add bags of flavour to these birria tacos but I've got a, about three kilos of meat sat here in the tray and we're going to fry that off in a minute once we've transferred our marinade into the uh, food processor and blended it down. I'm just going to pop it off, stick it in there, see you guys in a second. Let's see that beautifully softened down and ready to transfer into our food processor to make that marinade. So now I've got everything in that food processor guys, it's just time to blitz it down and make a beautiful sauce. And now we have a beautiful birria marinade ready to go on our chunks of meat. So let's start frying these off guys, and get this marinade on. So back in the same pan that we've just made all the spices, let's start dropping in our hunks of beautiful meat, plenty of bones, plenty of fat, that's gonna make that beautiful coat into fry off the tacos at the end. But keep adding them in guys, just nice and to fry off guys so this beautiful birria marinade I'm going to add that over all this meat and then take your water and let's just rinse out 
all them good flavours. One more. And stir all of them flavours, all of that water and that meat. And you're going to bring this up to the boil, guys. And then once it's starting to boil, we're going to simmer it for three to four hours until the meat starts falling to pieces. Three hours in, guys, and you can see that the fat has rendered out beautifully out of that meat. And that meat is pull apart tender. In fact, I've just dropped it and covered myself. But we're going to take all of the meat, piece by piece, fish it out into a separate bowl. And then we're going to pull it apart, take out any of the fat, the grizzly bits and the bones and shred that. And then we'll sieve the consomme. I'm going to get on with pulling all the meat and shredding it. And I'll show you the end product in a minute. So once we've taken all the meat out, guys, we want this consomme nice and clear. So we're going to pour it through a colander and a sieve to make sure we get out all the pieces left over. Pour the last of them juices through that colander. And then just work it round to get that liquid pass through. I'm going to double sieve this just to make sure. So I'm going to get on, separate the solids from the consomme, and then we're going to leave that to chill and we'll pull off the fat. See there guys, that's all the solids left over. We don't want that in that beautiful dipping sauce. That's pretty much squeezed all the liquid out. I'm just going to pass it back through again one final time. And after several hours, guys, got a beautiful, now clean consomme with that fat separating, and that's going to solidify overnight. And our beautiful pulled meat. And with all the different cuts of meat that we've got, we've got some different textures and different fibers in there. But last thing to do is tuck it up, let it chill on the side, and then pop it in the fridge overnight. And let's see these bad boys tomorrow. We're going to get on and make ourselves some corn tortillas, guys. So get this in. You can get this off Amazon. Get this mezca, corn flour. And we're going to weigh this out. To... So we've taken our flour. We've weighed that out. And that's about two cups of 455 grams. And to that, we're going to add 315 ml of water. Or one and a third cups, guys. So we've got our flour, our water measured out. Last ingredient is a salt and it's one tablespoon guys or around five grams of salt and we're going to pour the water into that flour and salt mix and using a fork we're just going to bring that all together and once it starts to form clumps we'll turn it out knead it and then we'll rest it for 20 minutes guys or to let the flour hydrate so that's our dough that's come together guys I did have to add eight tablespoons more of water the flour was just too dry and I wanted it so that it'd come together quite nice like play-doh you can see now starting to form really nice I've also worked out for this six inch corn tortilla press that a 65 gram ball around the size of a good golf ball seems to work the best I'm going to take our greaseproof paper, give it a quick flatten down, top it off with some more greaseproof, and then squeeze out our tortilla. And there you have it, guys. It's another beautiful corn tortilla ready for the griddle. I'm going to keep on pressing these out. I'll see you when we get out on the flat top. It's boomer making time, guys. We've skimmed off that fat off that beautiful consomme, we've got our beef that's been sat overnight, our fresh corn tortillas and mozzarella. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some of this fat, grease up that flat top and start frying off some of these birria tacos. Come in guys and let's get one assembled. Right, lay down a little bit of that 
fat that we've taken off the top and take our fresh corn tortillas. We're going to give them a couple of minutes on the first side. A little bit more of that beef fat in and around it guys. This is going to give it beautiful colour and flavour to these birria tacos. Once we've had a couple of minutes guys, let's flip them over. Look at that beautiful golden colour. And that's all from that consomme, that chilli fat, that chilli oil. I'm going to lay these down with some mozzarella. So mozzarella on each one of them guys. And then that beautiful shredded beef that we uh, pulled last night. I'm going to get each one of these filled up. Let them start warming up. I'm going to take a little bit of that consomme, guys. Been warmed up on the side. I'm just going to put that over the top just to hydrate that beef back up. And then I'm going to fold each one of these tortillas. And a little bit more of that beef fat guys just to finish them off I'm going to pop the lid on the Kadak just to steam them off smell -a vision needs to be created guys the smells coming out in the shack tonight are absolutely divine. Got a beautiful bivia tacos, a consomme, and you've got to dip that in there. There's no excuses, there's no decent tops on tonight, just covered in grease. Mm. Fish off and beautiful soft homemade corn tortillas. This one is absolutely stunning guys, the hype, it's all for real, these are worth the effort, it's taken two days guys, but these are absolutely stunning, I might have to just keep eating, but I better not, because everyone in the house wants to also try these out, but these, definitely give them a go guys, this is my last cup, of this year so i hope you've enjoyed it i'm going to wish you a merry christmas from here from the shack i'm going to get inside feed the family go enjoy christmas eve and i'm going to see you guys in the new year i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for all the support see you soon and i'll check you out in this next video over here guys